Hi everyone and welcome to this amazing video on the Rancilio, Silvia and Rocky. So today we'll be uh, unpacking these. We just got it from the uh, supplier and we'll take a look at what's inside and how to operate it and all that. So let's go for it. By the way, my name is Yossi. I'm from Oz Espresso and we repair and sell coffee equipment. I am making this video for my customers because of the Corona, COVID-19, uh, we can't have the demo anymore. So usually we have like a personal demo where you like, you know, set up the machine and we talk about coffee and all that, but that's not going to happen. So I'm making this video for them. Jason and his wife. All right, so Sylvia is here. I'm gonna take it out in a second and then let's see Rocky. What I like about this setup is that you know, for this price, you get something that can last many years and will you know provide amazing coffee if you know how to use it versus other brands that's not gonna be you know providing you with the same uh reliability oh man this stuff this huge staple it's just like blocking everything okay so Here's the Rocky, I'm gonna pull it out and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back. Just uh, took it out of the box. See all the papers, not very interesting. Then I take cover off this guy. Now, the new, with the new one, the latest one, I think they're putting the, um, like the new tamper. So they used to like provide you with a plastic tamper. Now it's made out of metal, but it's in the water tank. And sometimes the tank is uh, broken because of that. Uh, so we'll know for sure in a second. And then we'll see if we need to ask them to send us a new one. And this is actually being tested with real beans in Italy. Believe it or not, I also think this is, you know, it's the best way to um, test the grinder is just use it, operate it, make sure it's grinding. That's the best way to know. I'm gonna cut this little guy here. And I just love seeing all the, you know, the little logos. Just tells me like what you have. Just a little tray goes right here. Boom. The Arcidio logo. Take this out, very important. Let's see. Blah, 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 the customer, the coffee grinder you purchased was tested with real coffee beans, although it was cleaned. No, no, no. Thank you for understanding. I am understanding. Thank you for writing this note. Okay. Put this here, I'm gonna plug it to the wall in a second. Okay, yeah, this is a solid grinder. I like it. And we have the porta filter, dual spouted. And then let's look inside. So let's see. Oh, it looks good. Let's pull, let's take it out. I'll try and do it in one hand. Yeah, no cracks. Good job, Brancilio. I'm gonna put this on the side because I'm gonna take the... Yeah, so you see you have here, um, we'll open it in a second. Just gonna put this guy back. Sorry, I'm using my phone so there's no fancy cameras or whatever. It's just me and my phone. The shop I actually have a nice camera, but it's just taking too long to use, so I figured I'm just going to be doing this old school style using my phone. So what I'm doing now, um, I'm inspecting the machine. So every time we're getting equipment in, I always open it up 
I always look inside to see if they mean, you know, it's been shipped from Italy. Some of the machines are handmade. So, you know, there, there's like stuff. And you don't want to give it to the customer if it's, you know, this is a little off or there's something weird with it. And that's one of the advantages of buying from a local shop like ourselves is that we are going to go through all the details before you even pick it up just so it's going to be good. So you see uh, this is the new version with the insulated boiler, lead free brass, everything nice and shiny. So nice to see it. This machine that has uh, proven itself for many, many years. It's one of the best, um, you know, machines, single boiler machines in this price range. There's like a little bit of glue here. Let's take this thing off. And I'm gonna worry about this later. Maybe, maybe not. We'll worry about this later. This looks normal. Now take this here. And then I'm gonna fill it with water. Now it's gonna start pumping immediately to fill the boiler because the boiler is empty. And then I'm just gonna flush it a little bit to get any kind of you know debris or something that's you know from uh, manufacturing this brand new, never been used. We're just gonna, you know, run it through the system and make sure everything is working. And it look, you know, gasket looks good. I'm gonna test it with a blank basket. So I'm gonna fire it up in a sec. And we're also gonna open up uh, this thing and look inside. Um, let's fire it up. And also we'll do the grinder next. So this is right here. And it's pumping. That's really cool. So you have, you see, there's like a bunch of water. Just gonna let it run for a few more seconds. I'll put this here. Now I'm gonna run some water through the steam. And I'm gonna let it heat up and do its thing. Um, so I'm gonna just set it up, I'm gonna put some coffee in the grinder and I'll be right back. So let's quickly go through what we have here, what, what's in the box basically, and, and how we're gonna you know, plan to calibrate it. Say you just got it in the mail, you wanna have it set it up, and you filled it with water, you flushed it, now what? So uh, if I'll just go and look at the interface, I have the indicator light that tells me it's on. So that's how I know the machine is on. And the orange light basically tells me if it's heating or not. So now it, it, it's already done heating. So the light is off. But let's say uh, I just let it sit for a while or whatever. And I'm not sure if the heat is on or if it's hot enough. Then uh, all you need to do is just like run it a little bit. Wait for the light to turn on. Now we know it's heating. Now, why am I doing this is just to show you first. And second is say, you know, I wanna make sure there's no gauges, there's no like reading of what's going on inside the boiler. So, for me to know that I'm reaching optimal temperature is uh, exactly when this um, light turns off and then I can start the brewing process. Now, some people are gonna say, oh, you have to wait five or 10 seconds after it's you know, turning off. It's really up to you. This is just a recommendation. You can always you know, use a, a PID thermometer or something while you're brewing and like, you know, fine tune it to what you like, but we're not gonna get into this. Um, <clears throat> so this is brewing, this is uh, the, the tea water, 
Uh, we use it either for uh, preheating our cup or for flushing the boiler. Basically, if I just turn this on with nothing, it's just gonna release the pressure in the boiler. And then I can uh, press this button and have water from the steamer. And you'll see why this is uh, useful in a second. And then we have the steam. Basically, once I'm turning this on, the light kicks in, indicating the machine is heating. Um, this tells me that I'm building more pressure for steaming. I'm gonna wait for about uh, five to 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna uh, use it. So I'm just gonna switch to something clean. So it won't splash everywhere. And then we can see we have steam. Now, if I'm gonna wait a little longer, I'm gonna have way more steam. Let's do that. Already like kind of primed the steamer. So now it's ready, ready for steaming. Now, let's say I'm done steaming and I wanna make my shot, right? The water here are gonna be too hot for brewing espresso. So what I need to do is basically flush it. So I'm gonna do it by opening it and then running the water. That's it, I'm ready to brew. Basically what I did, I lowered the temperature from steaming temperature, which it could be anywhere between 250 Fahrenheit, way down to 200, where it's gonna be uh, the best uh, range for brewing espresso. Now I'm gonna be ready to brew. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna grind, tamp, and go ahead and do that. Um, so let's move on to uh, the grinder. We're gonna talk about uh, grind setting and what we want. And then we're gonna talk about what we have here and um, how to operate it. Then we're gonna pull a few shots. Okay, so uh, Rensilia Rocky, uh, we have uh, three switches um, or something like that. So we have the on off back here. Always make sure it's on. Then you have uh, the um, basically dispensing button when you press it and then it's engaging. There we go. Then over here we have the adjustment. We're gonna talk about this uh, soon. Just a quick uh, recommendation. Don't try to grind a whole bag at once. This thing, this is not a commercial. This is not something that you find at Trader Joe's and then you just, oh, let's grind a whole bunch for my friend. And then uh, you're just gonna overload the uh, switch and it might burn. So, you know, you can grind one after another, but it kind of needs to take uh, breaks every once in a while. So this is where you fill the beans. You just put the beans here. And then uh, you wanna feel, basically feel the grounds in your hand. Now every, you know, we're using, uh, Pete's Coffee, the Major Dickinson's uh, blend. Um, you wanna make sure your coffee is about between five and 20 days old. Uh, it can be too fresh, and you want it to be uh, between five and 20. If it's too old, like three weeks old or more, then the coffee is dry. So you don't wanna use it, you wanna use something fresh uh, so you can ensure that the uh, coffee uh, can be brewed at its best. Uh, so when I'm filling the coffee, depends on what you use at home, it's gonna be a little different uh, in terms of setting. You want it to feel a little um, like sand, um, fine-ish, but not too fine like a flour, if you, you know, or baking soda, whatever. You want it to be somewhere in between, but not too coarse like, I don't know, something coarse. So. Uh, that's how you know you're within range, and then we're gonna measure it, and then we're gonna use it uh, in the uh, portafilter, filter, and then we're gonna talk about how you know if it's good or not. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna use a little bit. See, 
feels good. I might can go finer. So I'm just gonna press this. I'm gonna give it, you know, one or two notches down. I'm gonna grind it again just to get whatever is inside out and then I'm gonna see. I might go a little finer, probably like around nine. Feels about right. Now, how can I know if it's too fine or too coarse? One way to know is if I'm pulling my shot and it's super slow or the, the machine is like, you know, trying to push the water through, but it's not going through, then I know it's definitely too fine. If I'm brewing my shot and then the water just, you know, pours out and it's gushing everywhere, it's a mess and it's very light, then I know it's definitely too fast. So you want to go, you want it to be like uh, around 25, 35 seconds. And um, we'll talk about that in a second. So let's see what we have here. We have the porty filter. This is a porty filter and then we have two baskets. We have this little, little spoon that nobody ever used and we have the rubber uh, disc that also is not very efficient. So we're gonna be um, using a blank basket. That's for cleaning and that's the tamper. Um, another little thing I have here to show you is this little spring. This could be super annoying because if you don't know it's there and it's flying off, then you're like, oh my God, something is wrong. I don't know what to do. So you just take this spring and you put it back to the groove. Just so, just make sure it's not gonna fly and you're gonna lose it. Here we go. So see how it's like sitting inside? That's the way it should go. And then I'm gonna take the double basket uh, this can accommodate about 10 grams of coffee. This is going to be good for 14, 17 grams. I'm going to be using this guy. Um, this is a nice porta filter here. And then I'm going to fill it. I'm going to use it over here to um, put some uh, grounds. Then I'm going to pull a shot. I can preheat my cup. I can preheat my cup to make sure I'm gonna lose, uh, not gonna lose any like temperature once the espresso is running. I'm gonna make sure I have enough water. If I need more water, I'm just gonna fill it with a pitcher or something. You can use, you know, um, tap water if you live in a good place where they have good water, I mean. Or you can use filtered water or bottled water uh, just to improve the flavor of the coffee. And then uh, we're gonna talk about how much coffee you should use inside. And then we're gonna have a little experiment. So I'm just gonna lower this. Okay, so we have our scale. It's a fancy scale. But it's getting the job done. Akaya. All right, cool. So. I uh, am, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna tear this guy, boom. Then I'm gonna dump it inside. Cause I wanna show you the method where you just like eyeball it. If you're not a professional or you, you know, you're more like of an uh, artistic person and you don't feel like using a scale, uh, that's gonna be the method for you. If you like using a scale, then you can just go ahead and measure it, then put it inside uh, the portafilter. So it's just gonna be, this way so you see there's like clumps there's like a lot of clumps kind of want to break them like good give it a good shake so I'm gonna tap it on the side like that I'm gonna level it Give it a good tap. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it looks much better. Um, so that's kind of, you know, the way to measure or eyeball any portafilter size basket is by just leveling it 
and then you're gonna tamp it. But because uh, this is the first time, I'm just gonna use, gonna be using a scale. Uh, so I'm just gonna dump this here. Here we go, we have exactly 15.1 grams of coffee. So this is basically probably a 14 gram basket. Um, with this fine, you know, with these uh, grind size, it's more or less uh, good. So we're gonna try that first, and then we'll see, we're gonna look at our shot. So if we have, now this is, it's gonna sound a little complicated, but say uh, we have 15 grams in, we want to have uh, thir about 30 grams of liquid espresso out, and then the ratio between the amount of coffee and the amount of espresso is gonna be two to one. So every one gram of espresso is gonna give us two grams of uh, liquid, and then the yield it's gonna be about 30, and then we're gonna try it and see if it tastes. Now I'm tamping it, you know, I'm pressing it. You can use a mat just to protect, you know, the, the, um, the spout. Uh, something you need to know about tamping, you want it to be nice and leveled. So if it's gonna be like tamped this way or that way, or you, you know, it's best to use a flat tamper, to my opinion. And then uh, you want to look at the espresso bed. You see that groove? This is where you want to be. If you're gonna go any higher, then it won't fit because the the screen need to like the screen actually goes over it. So if you're gonna overfill it, it's not gonna be good. Uh, and you well, you want to give it a good tamp. You want it to be somewhere around um, twenty five pounds of pressure. Can't remember. Just give it a good tamp. Here we go, nice and level. I'm gonna give it a good clean. Then I'm going to switch. Again, this is just for, this is just for um, the demo. Then I can use the timer, but I don't want to. You're gonna, we're gonna be looking at something about 30 seconds or so. Uh, so let's give it a go. I have, I have water, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna use, uh, gonna use the porta filter. I'm gonna start going from here and then I'm gonna go to the red dot. Give it a nice and tight. You don't want it to be leaking on you. This is going to be here. Okay. Let's start the process. So we have a nice, you know, nice and slow shot. Oh my god, sorry about on the camera moving. I'm gonna stop it right before 30. Okay, 30.5, that's good. All right, let's try it. Let's look at it first. There we go. So, nice crema. I think this is about ounce and a half of uh, this good. All right, let's give it a go. What's up? Mm. This is good espresso. I don't know, people giving pizza a hard time, but I think they make good coffee. You know, uh, a lot of people like it and I think it's good. So yeah, it feels very, it's not warm enough because I didn't preheat the cup, uh, but it, it feels very rich and full and there's like hints of, you know, some like chocolatey feeling. It feels good. It's a good espresso shot, so I'm very happy with it. So basically what, you know, what I did is I used, just felt, you know, the, the size of the grounds, eyeballed it, turned out to be 15 grams, 
you know, tempt it, boom, extract it. And then you can eyeball it. You want it to be between like, eh, maybe for a double, double one, it needs to be about uh, two ounce. Not sure how long it took, probably 20 something seconds. So I can, I can do this a little better, but now what I'm gonna do, very important, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna look at this. Then I'm gonna just you know, use the uh, knock box to dump it. And then I'm gonna flush it a little bit just to get any excess, you know, excess um, coffee grounds or something from here. Give it like a nice clean, but just the fact that you're gonna flush it every once in a while, like every shot, I'm sorry, uh, is gonna be very useful for the long term. And then if you, you know, you can always check the tray. So the drip tray is down here. As you can see, it's full of water. So we can just take it, don't wait until it's gonna be too full. Just take it and dump it every, you know, so often. And so it's not gonna overfill, it's gonna be making a mess all over the counter. Uh, so this is, you know, the basics of pulling shots and then uh, next, we're going to be talking about how to maintain it, uh, what you want to do, and how to flush it. Um, and then we're going to have, uh, you know, some Q&A or something. So, I emptied the tray, and now we're going to talk about some maintenance. So, there's two things you can do. You can uh, back flush the machine every 40, 50 shots, or like once, two weeks, or three weeks, depends how often you use it. It's good, it's good measure to do it every once in a while just to keep everything clean. Uh, not only the screen and the diffuser, but also there's a valve back here. So every time you pull a shot, there's a lot of pressure. And then once you're, you're closing the shot, the excess pressure goes down to the tray. That's why the tray is getting full. And that's, you know, the valve is behind this wall. Now, after a few years, if you're not doing this, it can just build up with oils and get clogged. And that's why we back flush. So we're keeping this clean and the valve clean. So we're gonna be using the uh, blank basket. And then I'm just gonna, you can either use a screwdriver or something. I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Just pry it out, take the blank and then uh, slam it in there. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, the Kefiza or you can use anything else, but I like this stuff because it's good. And I'm just going to use about three grams-ish. Not too much because you don't want to overkill it. So this is, this is how much, like half a teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon. And then I'm just going to put some water in it and give it a nice mix. You see how yeah, we have some excess water coming from the drip tray. Again, this is just once a month or three weeks. Depends how often you use it. I'm gonna put it here. Where is it? Come on, here we go. Then I'm gonna close it very well because it's gonna be under a lot of pressure. And then once I'm done, uh, I'm gonna do it for five seconds, for five times, and then you'll see, you already see some of the uh, uh, foam coming from the back. So, we go one, two, three, four, five, and release. If your machine is very dirty, you'll see a lot of black stuff coming out. And so on and so forth. Now, a lot of people online say, oh, you have to do it for 15 seconds or 10 seconds. And I think that it can damage the pump. If you do it often enough, you don't have to wait 15 seconds, uh, but it's really up to you. So let's say I've done it uh, five times. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna rinse it. Till we have you know, clear. And I'm gonna do it a couple more times.
Perfect. Now, as a safety measure, I also recommend to pull a shot straight to the drain, just to get all that, whatever, you know, maybe there's some cleaning detergent in there, you don't want it in your drink, just to pull a shot and uh, toss it. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I think that's about it. The Rencilio, uh, Sylvia, and Rocky, uh, doserless, uh, great combo for your home. It's just a solid combo, you know, and we can talk about frothing. If you would like to see more of that, just let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions or you have one, you need some advice, uh, please let us know. And that's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.